Madison, you're here in Los Angeles today, but you're not actually from here. Tell us about where you're from and what brought you to LA. I'm from Austin, Texas, and that's my hometown. Austin is a really big music city, so it really influenced me wanting to become a musician. The reason I'm here in LA is I'm recording a new song that I'm so excited to share with you guys. When did you start singing originally? I've been singing since as long as I can remember. First, I started out in Italian opera. I don't know a word of Italian, yet <laughs> my little second grader self sang all the songs in Italian. Wow. <laughs> Do you remember anything? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, I can okay. sing some for you if you'd like. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Lasciatemi morire, morire, morire. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe you still remember that from second grade. I know. Like, I haven't practiced since then. I have no idea how I remembered it. And that was not planned at all. <laughs> Then I moved to musical theater. When I was 11 or 12, I trained on Broadway. What were some of your favorite songs that you sang on there? When I did musical theater, I was Annie like three separate times. <laughs> like I loved Annie and I know The sun will come out. <laughs> oh yeah, so the sun will come out tomorrow. Definitely my OG favorite. Which Annie movie was your favorite? The original, straight red hair, or the new one? Probably the original. I got, I gotta go with the original. Yeah. Now you sing pop music. How's it transitioning from opera to Broadway and now pop music? Music has just been such a part of my life. When I was singing Italian opera and the musical theater, I loved it and it was what I really liked to do. But once I found pop and started writing my own music, it really felt like I could totally be me when I was singing. What is it like for you when you're writing? I find writing very therapeutic. So like. Like when something's going on or like I'm feeling bad or I'm feeling really happy like I always just want to put it down in a song because you can really express your feelings in a way that you can't in regular words. Yeah. Tell us about the last song that you wrote. The last song I wrote that has been released is Melodramatic. I wrote that about like a mean girl that is always trying to stir up drama. It was an example from my life. I was just really caught up about this and it really helped me kind of get over it by writing down the song. You want to help them, like you don't want them to be so melodramatic and starting drama that really doesn't yeah. need to be there. So did you write the words first for that one or the music? I think it was a little bit of both. I think I had the idea of the melodramatic word and then I played it on the piano and came up with some of the lyrics and melody. And it's really all everything at once. Yeah. Tell us about your family. Do you come from a musical background or are you kind of like the only musical one? Yeah, no one in my family is really musical. I have two younger brothers and whenever I I sing in the house they're like Maddie you're so annoying please stop you sing so much <laughs> because I, I just sing non-stop and your parents do they sing as well no no my brothers and parents don't sing <laughs> just you <laughs> yeah, just me how did you guys even discover that were you just like singing songs on the radio when you were a kid or what when I was in kindergarten I think um, my kindergarten choir teacher pulled my mom aside and she said that your daughter has a really good voice and I think you should put her in theater shout out to mom <laughs> shout out to mom and your kindergarten teacher. <laughs> what do you guys like to do as a family? We really like to just all hang out together. We all have a dog. Her name is Mia. She's Aww. the cutest. She's the best dog ever, but I'm partial because she is my dog. <laughs> my brothers like to shoot me with Nerf guns all the time. <laughs> like, you shoot back? It depends. I shoot back when they're least expecting it. Yeah. Since you have such a crazy life with flying to LA and recording and doing all these things, do you go to regular school or do you do homeschool? I go to an online school, which is okay. great. So I can still have a good education, but I can travel around and pursue what I really love. What's your favorite subject? Probably history or English. I like this too. What's an ideal BFF night for you? Me and my friends, we love to like watch movies and like we love baking. If you were found on a Saturday hanging out, what would you be Netflix binge watching? Stranger Things. Who is an artist that you love? Celine Dion. Who's someone you'd love to collaborate with? Sia. Who's an artist that you just can't stop listening to? Khalid. How would you describe your style in three words? Pop with an edge. That was four words, <laughs> but <That's okay>. sorry. <laughs> What's your favorite sweet treat? A brownie ice cream sundae. What's your favorite way to work out? I don't like running. <laughs> um, I like spin classes. Those are really fun. And you dance. Yes, I do dance. Oh, that's a better answer. <laughs> What's your go-to beauty product? Lip gloss, always. I like the MAC, like dazzle glass. What's the most important element in your outfit? Shoes. What's your favorite movie? Legally Blonde. You're working on new music right now. You're going to be releasing soon. What can you tell us about it? I wrote this song called I'm a Mess, and I, I personally 
experience? <laughs> yes, from personal experience. It's about how you can be a mess, no one's perfect, but don't mess with me. Oh. Yeah. I'd love to sing some a cappella for you guys, and it'll be exclusive. You are the first people to hear it. I'm a mess, but don't mess with me. I'm a mess with power you can't see. Wow, that sounds awesome. So powerful. <laughs> Is your room super messy? My room looks like a tornado came in <laughs> and like moved everything around. It's it's really bad. Does it come from you just not having time or you're like, oh, I'll get to it later or you just like, I can't decide. <laughs> I just, it's like, I guess it's just a personality quirk. Like I just, I just can't clean. I'm really bad. Well, I can clean. I just, everything is always disorganized. But you can find what you need. Oh yeah. I know where everything is like under this certain pile of clothing. There's like the notebook that I need to study with. Like I know where everything is. It's just chaos. Writing that song, did it come from a day when your mom was like, you have to clean your room or were you just like looking around and like, oh my goodness. It came from a day from like when my dad opened my room. He's like, oh my gosh, Maddie, you're a mess. And so I was like, I am a mess. I, like, I'll write a song about it. One of your themes in your music and in your life is empowering girls and really standing up for them. What does that mean to you and why do you think that is your message? I think it's so important to empower girls. They're our future. Girls in this day and age are underrated and I think that every little girl is going to be our future, our future president, our future lawyers and doctors and moms. It's so important for them to know their self-worth.